<clears throat> Thank you. Uh, I, I, I'd say he was a great man even if he wasn't my father-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my name is Mel Brennan III, and I'm a Westminster resident and a parent of a Westminster High School freshman. Uh, she's made clear to my wife and I that on several different occasions she's been subject to apparel worn by other students with the battle flag of the Army of Northern Virginia on them. We typically refer to that as the Confederate flag. As a mixed race individual, she is experiencing the presence of this apparel at school as hate speech directed at her and reflective of the commitments of the founders of the Confederacy. In other words, kids walking around and sporting the Confederate flag on their shirts and phone cases and jackets and hats is fomenting neither a safe nor a healthy school environment for her. Uh, the uh, robust response of the principal of Westminster High School and Superintendent Guthrie notwithstanding, uh, this is of course unacceptable and a violation on its face of Carroll County Public School Student Handbook, uh, page 15 under dress code other, which submits, and I'll quote, Clothing shall not convey symbols or messages generally accepted to promote intolerance, hate, racial slurs, or sexual harassment, unquote. Flags definitively represent things. This school system, like many others, participates in the Pledge of Allegiance to a flag, in part because that flag stands for the Republic, not because the U.S. flag is expected to mean 100 different disparate or uh, diametrically opposed things to 100 different citizens, but precisely because the values of the American flag and the space and place for which it stands were meant to be very concrete. It insults the intelligence of any reasonable person to submit that the Confederate flag would have any less precise a meaning. The Confederate flag represents the values held by the Confederate States of America. And there were but a few. Black chattel slavery as free labor. Black slavery and black terror as a way to express, if not actually practice, white unity. Black slavery as a bastardized tool of biblical fulfillment and black slavery, of course, as reflective of up to $3 billion in accumulated wealth for slave owners. But Confederate Vice President Alexander Stevens, speaking in the Savannah, Georgia, a month before the Civil War, expressed Confederate values most clearly in his, co in his cornerstone speech. Stevens said, and I quote, our new government is founded upon exactly the opposite idea. Its foundations are laid and its cornerstone rests upon the great truth that the Negro is not equal to the white man. That slavery subordination to the superior races is natural and normal condition. This, our new government, is the first in the history of the world based upon that great phys philosophical, physical, and moral truth, unquote. That is the value set represented by the Confederate flag. Just because our media escape both belies and amplifies ignorance on this does not excuse the scholastic environment of doing the same. I'm out of time, so I'll just submit the ask, which is to please enforce the dress code as found in the handbook immediately regarding hate speech such as the, uh, the Confederate flag iconography, and please exhibit consistent and, sustain, and sustained enforcement in the future. Uh, I, among others, will seek redress on this matter at is, as it is captured within uh, CCP as its own student handbook, but reserve the right beyond any handbook interpretation to seek policy change on this issue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.